Hello everybody, welcome back to my channels and today I'm going to show you my last ever uh, metal build from the Bandai and Tamashii Nation and this one is called the uh, Gundam 00 Device Exia um, so this is the uh, latest one that I got in my collection and then these trees are the one that I have from the 00 series so they are my only double O's, you know, gun that I have uh, in the metal bill, and uh, I don't think I will be getting any more metal bill from a Bandai. And this is it. This is the last ever one. So, unless, of course, there is this on a very good deal or some kind of big sales from some shop, you know, and then probably I will think about getting some more. But um, currently, as is then, uh, I'm not getting any more. You know and this is it because they are really expensive and they are overpriced if i have to be honest and for what i'm getting and you know they are nice quality and so on and so forth but um you know they are a lot better for your, more for your m money in the uh, chinese gundam you know like um, there are loads of kandao and there are also the mosho mosho figures are awesome and they are double the size they're about half the price you know, so I would rather have more show figures than these metal bills. I mean, even though, as much as I love these Gundams, but they are really expensive. And as I mentioned it in my sound of my video before, every time when I get these Gundams, I always feel like regret it because when I get them, when I open the box, I feel like, oh yeah, yeah. What's special about it is, <laughs> you know, nothing really exciting that much. Uh, even though I like them, but uh, they are really expensive. So there we are. Anyway, right. So let's take a closer look on this one. So this is my uh, final, you know, uh, figures from the Gundam, which is that one. Okay. So this is the one that I'm looking for. Now the reason why I decided to get this one is because a Qbull.co.uk was um, selling it uh, for a reasonable price for about two hundred pound. And I used up all my vouchers and every points that I have to buy this one. So this is about 170 pounds at the end. So I save about 30 pounds, so something like that. So yeah, which is reasonable price. And um, what I really want this guy is the reason why is it because I don't have X8 in my figures. I like double Gundam series and also the uh, the Gundam Seed. They are also my favorite. And of course, there are also Iron Blood, you know, Iron Blood um, Orphans, and also the other bit and pieces like Wing Gundams and stuff like that as well. But um, uh, Double O is my favorite one, if I have to be honest. Uh, I really like it. Uh, so, yeah, so I got this one. And also, the look is a bit different from the, uh, the rest. So, this is why I get it. And also, the kind of like, uh, I think they have a repair 1, 2, 3, 4 and then they all look the same as far as i'm concerned it's just a different look in terms of accessory and the paint jobs and slightly different color scheme and stuff like that and so there's also gonna astria and it looks very similar they're all based on this double o, uh line i would say but this one the difference is that it got the um this uh backpack this backpack can extend the older arms out and into the additional two arm and if you want to add another two of these one, you can also put another one down there that will make it full arm. Now I saw it on Facebook, some people posting it on the uh, you know society or metal build society or whichever. And then uh, apparently the guy put it the first ever <laughs> full arm on the backpack and also the two arm. So you got you know six arm uh, double XCF Gundams ever. So which is really cool. Uh, I like that. So anyway, let's take a closer look on this one. And the figure looks fairly heavy on the legs and it got decent amount of die cast on the skeleton part, but a lot of plastic on the surface. And what I do like is the um, all these uh, exposed metal part on the gun, the, you know, XCS here, which is really nice. And all the paint jobs and all the stuff is also, you know, very nice and nice and, you know, steady uh, for all these stuff. And then this is what I was talking about. You see, this is the uh, the sword that comes with it. And this one has some kind of translucent part, some kind of green part in here as well, which is kind of cool. I'm not sure you can see it, but it is uh, some kind of green part in here. But anyway, so this one can actually extend it out. If you don't extend it out, this is actually uh, some kind of gun, right? So if you extend it out, you can put it like this. And then you can put these things like that. So this will be a giant 
soul, uh, physical, actual soul, not being saver. So this one is a being saver. So you do get the uh, two long one and two short one for a small dagger, and or you can have this one giant, you know, uh, sword as well. And you can fold it out if you are not in use, which is nice and easy to do. And then you also have the two different kinds little side sword as well. So you got this one, which is a short one. And on the other side is kind of longer one, which is kind of weird. So yeah, this one is one long, one short uh, sword. They have no energy effects or anything like that. It would be cool to have some kind of energy effect goes, goes around it, but never mind. And what I also like is you got a double O one on the um, leg on this translucent part here, which is really cool. And as you can see here, there are quite a lot of die cards exposed on the legs and all this stuff. And also the internal stretcher, which you can clearly see. Also on the arm, which you can see the uh, double O symbols in here. And so there are quite a lot of cool stuff in here, which is what I like. And then you can also store the, uh, you can see the, uh, there is another beam saver, which I attach it on the arm. You can also store it there, or you can store it on the butt as well on a on a bum <laughs> like this as well so this is the uh, two bean saver also on the arm and also on the butt and uh, what i really like is you've got one giant energy saw effect which is really cool this is really nice you can go all the way up there and so you've got green translucent part with a little some kind of play effects going on around it which is cool and then you can see this arm can actually expand it out at the moment i just attach it to this shield but you can actually have all four weapons. You can have a guns, you can have shield, you can have sword, you can have bean saver, you can have all kinds of different things you can attach to it. They come with a lot of little, little plastic piece that you can attach to whichever one you feel like. Now if I want to extend it out and you can see that um, if I take these uh, shields around it, you can see that it can actually expand. You can do all kinds of sideways, which is really cool. And you can see that Right, the, these joints are metal by the way and so they are actual die cards and you can see that it can adjust all kind of way you like and you know at the moment I just put it like this I'm, I'm not really bothered too much about it. you can articulate in every corner every joint of course you know uh, this is what the bandai's are specialized in so they're very good with articulation you know so that's the one thing that I like about bandai but the uh, the price you're paying for is a bit too much and uh, it's just not worth it in my point of, from my point of view to be honest but anyway so this is what you can do and uh, you can also put soles in there as well um, but yeah I just leave it as it is obviously you can fold it around and you can articulate up and down you can do also a way that you want to do any way you like and so if you want to take out the sole, which you can actually attach it like that, or you can take it out, put it in the hand if you want to. And also you got a little bit of uh, articulation on this little antenna as well, which you can actually move around, uh, which is also nice. So is the other figures, they also can do that. And the head can obviously have a loads of ball joint as well. You can do any kind of like, you know, things that you want to do. And the arm also have the uh, obviously double joint and also you got the joint here where you can swivel by the fly joint as well. I'm not doing a lot of articulation here, okay, so this is my own figure with my own money, so I'm not gonna move too much here, unfortunately, I'm sorry about that. But the uh, obviously I can guarantee you that, that they do actually move really well if you, you know, have the uh, metal bill figures. They are very good with articulation, so you don't have to worry about that part. Um, yeah, uh, anyway, so you have a lot of these things and also obviously the, the leg can also go around like this and the kneecap can also turn but uh, it's kind of restrict with the, all these stuff around it so you're gonna have to move around a little bit to move it and so on and so forth but you can actually move decent range and also of course they, all these parts are nice and solid metal and then you got all the feet which you can actually articulate and you can see how the uh, metal piece inside the feet looks like. So yeah, it is very nice articulation if I have to be honest. Um, but uh, what I feel is the the price that I pay for is nearly 200 pounds without a discount. Uh, if it is a, with a discount, it's obviously a bit better. But uh, even then, 200 pounds for this 
I mean, come on. <laughs> you know, I mean, if you watch my my on my channel, there are a lot of、uh, figures that which I can show you on there. Like you can help boys from Gundam model, and that is about what the you know really big one six scale size, like a thirty centimeter tall, with a two or three kilo heavy.、Um, <laughs> And these guys,、uh, <laughs> you got about what seven or eight inches? Not even eight, actually seven inches, and it's weight roughly about what five、um, hundred grand. All right, and you got quite a lot of accessories. Don't get me wrong, so they are nice, but the two、uh, hundred pound, come on, you know I can't justify the price for this at all. I really don't. I just can't see it at all. You know, even it comes with all the decent accessories and all the articulations and stuff. But it's still, I feel like overpriced. So I don't know. I mean, everybody's different, I suppose. But for me, it's like、uh, it has to be worth the money, and the quality is okay. Okay, but there are some pieces which I'm not gonna show here. But、um, some of the joints here are a bit loosey goosey. You know, if I have to be honest. And for something that I pay for two hundred pound, I want a you know decent quality in terms of the stiffness and all the metal and all the pieces that comes with it. But it's not always the case in every single figure. Some of them has some quality control issues and stuff like that. But、uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's Gundam. Okay, what can I say? So it's Japanese Gundam. So they are always overpriced. So yeah, so if you look at the,、uh, you know, I have this one quantity as well. This one can break in also pieces, and yeah, this one is also cool. But compared with the Xia and then this quantity, I prefer the Xia to be honest. Xia is, is better quality in terms of the the structure, the way it design. Um, this guy quantity is also cool, but it has an actual LED light. So quantity only Metal Build Gundam with the LED light on the chest. Okay, only the chest. Now I don't have a suitable battery for this one. Unfortunately, I tried all the different sizes. It just doesn't fit onto this one. But I'm pretty sure that it works. And、uh, one is work is all obviously turning into green color light. Um, yeah. So only this guy has an LED light on it, but the rest don't have any LED at all. And I also have a Dynamo or Dune. Or I don't know how to pronounce it. And this guy is also really cool. Um. But they're all slightly different design in terms of the,、uh, the you know, the structure wise. But they are very similar in terms of this、uh, double O symbol of the face look and the chest and the all this reactor and they always have it. So yeah, there we are.、Uh, I hope that this is helpful. And、uh, before I finish this off, I'm gonna show you the box here. So this is the box that comes with it. So you can see the the box is kind of misleading as well. You can see the、uh, all these、uh, cool energy effects and all these LED light effects going on, but actually it doesn't turn on any of those stuff. You know, it's just the、uh, picture, just to make it look cool. Um. So yep, that's the metal bill, and、uh, on the back,、uh, I'm gonna show you very quickly. Something looks like that. So you can articulate like this. You can have swords on it. You can have shields on it, and so on. So it looks really cool and nice, but、uh, yeah, the price is a bit crazy, as I said. So anyway, right? I'm stop gonna. I'm gonna stop saying anything anymore, right? So this is the last ever metal bill I'm, I'm having. So I'm sorry, guys, if you're expecting more metal bill on my channel, but、uh, this is it. Um, but I will be buying more the、um, multi nucleus or Gandals and all the rest. Mosho definitely without doubt. I'll be buying more of these figures for sure in the future. But、uh, when it comes to the metal bill and、uh, for Gundam wise, and、uh, this is it. <laughs> I'm not getting any more. Anyway, thanks for watching.、Um, I will see you in the next video.、Cheers.